What's up guys? Good evening. It is January 8th, 2022. I am driving to St. Albans, Queens. I have a new client, homeowner, that has no heat. She's got a Williamson gas boiler and she goes, the pilot won't, st won't stay on. I'm like, all right. This is the emergency service call charge, plus parts. And uh, we stock most parts in the truck. I can't guarantee that we could fix it this evening, but if it's a common part that is kaput, we have it on the truck. And the work we do will be guaranteed for 24 months. So if, it, if the part should fail again, we'll make it right for you. All right, hopefully this is somewhat interesting. If it is, I'll video it and I'll post it and uh, share with you guys. All right, make sure you uh, are subscribed to the channel. If you found this video interesting or entertaining, ed educational, you got something out of it, I really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit that notification bell. And as always, thoughts, feedback, criticism down in the comments section down below. All right, guys, let me navigate through Queens traffic here, St. Albans, and uh, give this woman some heat. Let's get going. You ain't testing, you're guessing. Hello. Good morning. I say good morning. It's been a long been time. Out, out all day. <laughs> uh, after you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Service that is on. Um, I had turned it up to 79. You want to see it? No, just make sure it's on. I had turned it on to 79. Never came on. What? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Have you had a problem with it before? Yes, it's been like that ever since this man put, uh, plugged it. fixed it, put it in because this is a brand new boiler. He put it in like... Steam. Okay. Oh, you say steam light. No, steam. steam. Okay. Oh, it's good. It's a good thing. Oh, well, it works. <laughs> yeah, it does. See, I've been turning. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put on my mask. Um, right. I've been turning. You vaccinated? Mm -hmm. You vaccinated? Yes. Oh, me too. We'll Fine. keep a distance then. How about that? Sure. It's cold. And the pilot is on or off? Um, the pilot is off. Oh, no pilot. No we pilot. have electronic ignition. Yeah. That's what I've been waiting for. When you turn it off, because I've been using the red box, turn it on, turn it, off, it gives you a click, 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 click. And I hear this thing. Come on, and it doesn't come on. It's been doing, I've had this for like three years, and it's been crazy every single year. Huh. So I, I don't know. Got a damper. Try to pull up the guy open. put it in. Let's see, we got a spill switch here. One time the yellow light was coming on, but I know it's good. The green yeah. light comes on. You have the water in the boiler. Yeah. The green light never came on. Does that, and that's what it's been doing since November. But after a while, after six turns off and turns off, it'll come on, and then I forget about it. Then another week or so, it'll break down again. Yes, yeah, it's like it's not sensing the uh, the pilot flame. Let's try that again. Make sure that flame is good. Let's see. Looks fairly new. No damage. Looks nice and clean. Let's see. Wait for this thing to ignite again. Alright. So you have pilot, just not sensing it. So. I look 
You know, and I hear, I hear this like an electric like noise coming from this control right here. I'm wondering if it's bad. So you said this is three years old. Yeah. All right. All right. So, Utech submission control module by United Technologies. That's a they own carrier. I'm gonna put a new one in. I think that's the problem. Now we have ignition. There it goes. What? So oh my that died. In three years? It's a shame, yeah. It's you know, these boilers are crap. <laughs> real. I have, I've been here for a very long time. And I had two boilers in this house. And it lasted. One lasted for 20 something years. The other one lasted for 17. This has only been here since the end of. 2018. But you said you've been having promises doing this for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. This one. And you turn power switch on, turn it back off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it wouldn't. Yes. So how long has that been going on for? Since 2018. I know you three years old. Yeah. 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 Yeah
that comes into the boiler before the feeder. That's an automatic valve. And this is like the bypass one, right? So if I open this valve back up, I'm going to push this down or up, which way? <laughs> like that. It's very tight though. Maybe someone, it's, it's tight, it's tight valve. Okay. So that's open. And now we're going to add water manually by opening that right there. And we open that, we have to watch the water level here, right? Don't just leave that open and leave. No, 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 no. You open that, you open that up and leave, you're done. I'm in problem, no. <laughs> you're in a big problem because your whole house is going to be flooded. Okay. All right, so we're going to, that's going to stay open. We're going to wash this water level on the side glass, rise up. And you want to right around halfway, three quarters full. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Wait for that. See, it's coming up right there at the it's bottom. It's empty now? It's empty right now. You can see oh, it's slowly okay. coming up right now. Okay. Okay? So do I do this once a week? You say? No, you're going to do this. Once a month. You're going to drain it once a month. Uh -huh. But for now, I want to leave these closed. Uh -huh. And I want to know how often this thing's adding water. Okay. Okay? Because if it's, if it's once twice a week, that's a problem. You'll be replacing this boiler in the next five years. So you gotta find out why. So if it happens, you call the oil and say, listen, Mike was here, mm -hmm. he told me to do this test, I'm adding water like every other day. Okay. And, we, you know, save up, save up, save up some there. pennies, and because it's gonna be a repair, but. I'm at work, but I got you go, good. Crap. <laughs> All right, so let me turn the gas back on. I had to turn this off so I could stop the water from boiling. Mm -hmm. It'll fire back up, like that. Nice, nice. All right, guys. Just finished up that service call. It is 6.40 in the evening. Got it done a little less than an hour. Um, it was odd. You know, as soon as I got there, I heard, like, an electronic, like, whining sound coming from that electronic ignition module. And I was like, it's one of two things. We either got a bad pilot burner assembly with that electronic ignition uh, flame rec uh, flame sensing uh, rod on it or uh, my, my bet was on the electronic ignition module and sure enough that was the problem with it and as always parts are on the truck parts are on the truck let me watch out for these speed cameras you go over 30 miles an hour in New York City you're getting some sodomized with that $50 speed ticket cam cameras anyway thanks for tuning in when in doubt, swap it out. No, I'm just joking, but I had a feeling it was an electronic ignition module, but we settled up the service call. I asked some questions regarding, I noticed an automatic feeder there. She had told me that she's lived there for a number of years. This is her third boiler. She said the first boiler lasted like, I don't know, 30 years. The second boiler lasted 17, and she just put this one in three years ago, and she's mad at it, you know? She's mad at it because now she's replacing it. They're replacing the, uh, sorry, replacing, replacing the electronic ignition module, and she's pissed. And I was like, ma'am, if, you know, we went over the automatic theater and the noise that that thing makes when it's, uh, when it's filling itself back up again, I'm like, ma'am, you know, how often are you hearing the sound? And, and I, there's a gentleman living right there in the, in the basement watching TV, laying on the bed, whatever, and he goes, I hear that every time it turns on. I'm like, that's a problem. I was like, if we don't take care of this, um, this is not going to be your last boiler in this house. You're going to be replacing this in the next five, seven years. And uh, so we drained the boiler to make sure the low water cutoff turns on, which it did. And then I closed the boiler feed valve and I showed her and I'm, I showed her on video and I sent her the clip on, uh, you know, how to test that. You know, we have the, the low automatic water feeder isolated and now uh, she could test see how often it needs water. If it really takes water and every time it turns on or several times a week, you know, she'll know. And I said, listen, if you're adding water more than once or twice a month, so or several times a month, you need to call the office and say, hey, listen, Mike told me how to check for lo losing water and uh, I need to schedule a service call. Like, there you go. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm gonna, I, got a, I got dinner plans at 7.30. I don't know if I'm going to make it, but... We'll see. We'll see. Business comes first, you know? Business comes first. All right, guys. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.